Watch this. I think that I would be drinking the bottled water, um, and I would be continuing to uh, um, find out what the tests were showing as far as the air. Um, I would be alert and and concerned, but uh, I think I would probably be back in my house. You got to think it's possible for the Ohio legislature to pass a law tonight forcing Governor DeWine to move to East Palestine indefinitely and just see how he does. Drink a little bottle of water. Just stay alert. Dr. Jeanette Neshawat is the director of City MD. She joins us tonight to assess. Doctor, thank you for coming. How concerned would you be? Would you be eager to move to East Palestine tonight? <laughs> Absolutely not, Tucker. You know, there's a variety of chemicals on that train from isobutylene, ethylene hoxyl, um, acetyl, and vinyl chloride. And of course, the greatest concern was vinyl chloride because this is one of the most toxic poisonous chemicals on the planet, such that it is listed as a human carcinogen. What does that mean? It means it has the potential to cause cancer, liver cancer, breast cancer, leukemias, blood cancer. And so on top of that, when you burn it, which is what they're doing now, a controlled burn, then you have byproducts. Those byproducts can be lethal as well. As you mentioned earlier, phosgene, this is a lethal chemical that has been used as a weapon in World War I, and it's even listed on the CDC website. They have an emergency preparedness protocol in case you come into contact with phosgene. So all these chemicals in the EPA that uh, that we know of so far are only testing for vinyl chloride, but what about the ethyl hexyl? What about the butyl acetate and all these other chemicals that are causing the symptoms like your previous guest has been experiencing? Headache, sore throat, irritation of the eyes, burning of the skin, difficulty breathing, you know, the decease of, uh, you know, the death of the, the fish, the wildlife, the chickens, the pets, the animals. So it's of great concern. We need to see FEMA out there on the ground. And we probably had a premature clearance by the EPA to return the citizens back into that community. Yeah, it's not about climate, so they don't care. Dr. Neshwat, great to yeah. see you tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Tucker. No one in charge is willing to say the B word out loud. Can you tell us anything more about this octagonal object? How big was it? We're still trying to assess uh, what, what that was. 